What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the weapon changes in update 37 here in the Elder Scrolls Online. If you're like me, you're on console, the update's going to be out here in just a few days so we don't have to wait much longer. But there are some weapon changes that kind of fix some issues with some of the weapon uh, things not working correctly and also a few changes to the weapons overall. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, Destruction Staff Ancient Knowledge. They fixed multiple issues where the Inferno and Lightning Staff components were applying to applying the incorrect attack types. Uh, elemental Susceptibility. The Morph's secondary effect now tracked separately rather than being linked to Major Breach. This will allow the status effect from the ability to continue while multiple applications are active over when other sources of major breach apply and override this. They also reduce the tick frequency to 7.5 seconds down from 6. Wall of Elements. All versions of this ability and its morph will now display a hostile telegraph to the enemies. Wall of Frost and its morphs will now apply a minor breach and reduce the movement speed of enemies by 40% for 4 seconds when damaging a chilled target rather than immobilizing them for 4 seconds. When it comes to dual wield, uh, Flurry, they fixed an issue with this ability and its morphs where the damage and audio uh, impacts appeared delayed and out of sync with the animation. For two-handed, for cleave, they fixed an issue where the visual and sound effects from this ability and its morphs could fail to play properly in some cases. A critical charge stampede, they fixed an issue where the initial hit of this morph would only guarantee its critical strike against the first target hit rather than all targets hit. It says now this is a guaranteed or the guaranteed critical strike still does not apply to the damage over time portion of the ability that is by design. In Uppercut, they fixed an issue where this ability and Wrecking Blow Morph would lose targeting for far easier than the Dizzying Swing Morph. And for Wrecking Blow, this uh, morph now also grants Major Berserk for 5 seconds. Now it's really time to wreck it. So you can kind of see a lot of this was uh, kind of small bug fixes. Things weren't working as intended. So now some of these that I talked about should be working correctly. But also, they did give Wrecking Blow that major berserk. Wrecking Blow maybe something people start to use again in PvE. We'll kind of have to wait and see. That used to be a PvE ability from time to time when it is really good. So we'll kind of have to wait and see on that uh, when people get their builds together when the update comes out here on console. Of course, I've not really seen a lot of PC players talk about running Wrecking Blow, but I still know some players may like to kind of mess around with some different skills. You know, this is not really the meta, so you might want to give that a try. But the rest of them, uh, like I said, the rest of the things I talked about were mainly just bug fixes, but it's good to have these issues fixed because some of these things have been an issue for a while. And I did find it kind of interesting that the wall of elements now, the way they changed that uh, for the Frost Staff anyway, uh, you know, it gives you that minor breach and reduces the movement speed of enemies by 40% from 4 seconds when damaging a chill target rather than immobilizing them. That's going to be pretty handy as well. Um, I use a, a Frost Staff, of course, on my tank and my healer, so I really like the idea of that. It says, in efforts to help reduce the amount of passive crowd control in the game, they're shifting the power of Wall of Frost control to a snare rather than a mobilize while helping it gain some uh, some more use uh, causes in PvE parts of the game. Now, I'm still going to be interested to see if all tanks and healers will run Ice Staffs. There's been a a good bit of changes over time, new gear coming out, that kind of stuff. Of course, going forward into the year, we'll have new gear, uh, you know, other changes. And as, as always, we always have, uh, you know, a new meta kind of each year. And I staffs for tanks and healers have been a thing for a while now. I'm kind of curious to see if some go back to lightning staffs, maybe bows on the back bar. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the weapon changes in update 37 and of course if you like the video hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace